What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Pro Winston here with Simon and one of our favorite players I know back home in my area, Gally. How you doing, guys? Okay, sad. Okay. So why? Why both of y'all depressed? <laughs> I'll let you take this one, Gally. Uh, we did okay day one. He won next two. I won next one. Mm -hmm. uh, we always left. <laughs> Day two, so he's automatically out, and I lost like the last round. So yeah. because we almost slept, we didn't talk. We woke up about ten past nine, and I was like, "Oh my god! Oh my god!" Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Round ten, like, wake up, wake up. Uh -huh. yeah. we, we literally just, we, we, we literally just put on anything that was on the floor, or any clothes, any shoes. These aren't even my shoes. Still looking fly, and, still looking fly, guys. <laughs> and we just ran off to the yeah, but still much loss. And I'm out, and he. Yeah, he lost So more than certainly, if both of y'all would have won, y'all probably would have been in top 32, probably. Uh, maybe. Probably. Maybe, depending on the points or whatever. All right, well, what did you play, Simon, yesterday? I played Agents, the same thing. Something that you're very comfortable with and I'm used to. Yes. Now, it was rumored around that you would be playing the water deck that the other pro players was considered about playing. Yep. Oh, no, no. They they were playing the Mermel, 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 like full-on Mermel. I was about to play the Undying Mermel on water. Because um, I changed my mind literally on Saturday morning in the shower. Are so you like, saying a perfume in the shower? Yes. Shower. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I just didn't like the deck because like, my build was very standard. So there was no surprises, there was, nothing, there was no originality whatsoever. And I, I wasn't that comfortable with the deck. I, I didn't like just something undone and ending or something like that. There's wipers, there's bears. It just didn't seem like a good option. So I went back to what I know. Even though knowing that the deck, Adrian deck, isn't the best of the format by far. Loses to the fire fist. So. Alright, and Gally, what about you, man? What did you play? I played uh, Wind Up and uh, with Triple Lands, uh, Triple Thunder King, Hunter. Slightly, slightly different. I, don't, I, I caught Sangha and I caught Four of Avarice. Slightly different Wind Up. You played Hunter. How do you like Hunter? Hunter, uh, it gives, even though it's a bad draw, it's not always the worst draw, but it's quite a bad draw. It gives you options. It, like the amount of plays you can make with Hunter. Uh, unlimited, so it's not always the best just to like put a nice feel. If the, if they're down to three, four cards and you can hit a couple, that's game. Like, like uh, today, I opened Rabbit Pass. The guy went set monster, set back row. I MSD, hit three in hand, and made a nice feel. That's game. That's that's it's too good. It's too good. It's too versatile. All right, all right. And w w the matches that y'all played yesterday, do do you consider those matches to be difficult as being skilled players as y'all are, or was everything just flowing? Um, it was okay. Um, I didn't want to play much Fire Fist, and the, three of the first four rounds of Fire Fist, and I'm really hard with Thunder King's not very good against it. But overall, it, it was okay. It was okay. Yesterday was a huge difficult for me. I lost two one ups. Um, the Zebedee Sharks both gave one and two, so I got two old. And then, um, yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't difficult, but it wasn't easy either. It wasn't like in Seattle or Providence when. No one knew about agents. All right, all right. And um, once again, um, I questioned Simon about this topic, and now I would like to question you about it. Since you came here to the states or whatever, do you think our players play very recklessly and don't think, or is it more similar to your area? Um, it's not as bad as people say. It is, okay. Uh, in that sense, I think the overall standard is about average. Uh, but the good players are good. So, and they're, the population of the, of the player size, it's uh, population, it's huge. So of that percentage, it's, the, the percentage is quite small of the good players, yep. but even so, they're very good. So it's not always easy once you get to the high tables. All right, and what advice can y'all give players that want to be like UG and the old overdose and all these new teams out right now? Uh, play with good players. Mm -hmm. The players, really, there's so many things. Like even today, this weekend, I learned a couple of things just talking to Simon, talking to Sarosh. Okay. Uh, and like Sarosh learned some things, Simon learned some things. And you, you're never the best player. There's always room never. for improvement. Yep. And the moment you think you're the best player, uh, that's the yeah, best. That's when yeah. you go down. Yeah, that's when you there's start no such down. thing as perfection. You can okay. only try and reach it. Oh, I didn't misplay, I got stagged. No, that's not true. Everybody <laughs> yes, misplays. Exactly. Everybody misplays. And until you understand that, then, like, you made the wrong read or whatever. Until you understand that, you're not going to get any back. Mm -hmm. All right, well, since you played wind-ups this weekend, and the bear list supposedly damages the deck to a great deal, 
Now that y'all don't have that 12 point tutorial on how to spam the board first turn, um, Magician, Shark, Zen Mighty combo, what do you think the deck has left? The deck um, is still an okay deck. Uh, I think it was Zen Mighty to Band. Yes. Uh, and Sang and Band. And, and, and Magician to One. Oh, Magician to One? Wait, magician. Yes. Wait. Me, yeah. Wind Up Magician? Yes. No, it's Wind Up Magician. Oh, oh, oh right. I didn't realize that. No, yeah. okay. With gone. Wind Up Magician 2, at least you can make like yeah. a decent combo. Even though, even then, it can't, can't really compete against the top deck. Um, Wind Up Magician at 1? No. All right. Well, questions about Brotherhood Fire Fist. I know neither of y'all played the deck, but do y'all think that that deck will just take the spot of tier one? Now that no. Sangan is not available for the Rabbit Tour God play? I, I, I find I find Mermel scarier than I do Fire Fist, oh. to, to be honest. Okay. Fire Fist is, like, it's really weak. They only summon one or two monsters, yeah. and the rest of the back rows are Tencents and Lancers and stuff like that, and they all require a monster on the field. If you somehow get rid of a monster, let's say Soul Tango or something like that, then they have a field of back row of just nothing. Uh, uh, but they are scary though, with the dragon plays and the bears and the DC. It's just that... At first, they, they, they were not playing really defensive tracks. They were just playing their own cards. That's really bad. That's like a decent player will just, okay, fine. Uh, I know all of those. If I know all your cards, you're not going to beat me. Mm -hmm. Okay? Playing like decent traps, warnings, all that, makes it so much harder because you have to get rid of the bear, otherwise they're just going to close off it. So, Firefish is good, but it's not going to be tier zero. No, I don't think anything is going to be tier zero. Like, after the badness, there's going to be a period where nothing new is going to come out for a while and the old decks are just going to be like, roughly the same apart from wine decks. But it's just that, I think it's in April, or um, when a new set, I think the last one comes out, with Evil Swarms and uh, the new Prophecy cards. Then everything changes. You know, everyone knows that, and uh, the spellbooks are the spellbooks are literally going to be the best deck. If, if those are the only cards that are coming out, and it's no TCG exclusive that completely hammers the deck or to stop it, it has to be a hand trap as well. It can't be. It has to be. It has to be a hand trap that says something like, "Discard it for this turn. No one can play spells or something like that." So something ridiculous like that. If, if it's not something like that, then the spellbooks can they're just pretty much stop It's not really, Thunder King doesn't do anything to it because they play a lot of traps as well. And they can use power and over. There's so many ways to get rid of the Thunder King. It's um, scary. I'm gonna have to read it. Is, it is so yeah, good. me too. Everyone thought that the Evil Swarms, uh, what is it, the first or whatever, is gonna be really good because it's all Orpheon and it's like the new Rabbit deck. But it doesn't compare to what the prophecies can do. Okay. Yeah, I do know that a Kara Curry deck made it to third or fourth place because they have the ability to negate magic cards easily. What do you think? That deck has a store for the Prophecy deck, the Fire Beast deck, you know? Well, yeah, with, with the, okay, I've been testing against the Spellbooks quite a lot, and um, I've played a new version, and there's, there's two versions I've seen. There's one that plays the Judgment, the yeah. Spellbook Judgments, and then um, the combo goes something like Judgments, two table, two table, two table contents into two Gemini Elf, or you can, you can do different combos like, there's another way to do that combo. Um, and there's another one that goes uh, that plays one day piece as well. So they don't really care if you. Oh, that, that's to one, isn't it? One day yes, piece. one day piece well, is to one. Well, they probably still play it. They, they don't really care if they give your opponent an extra draw because you're getting an extra plus, and you're, you're, it digs you for that card for the combos. Um, what was it? What was it? What was it? I don't know. Oh, the chore piece. The chore piece. Okay, yeah. Because they plus so much, they, they literally the, the biggest problem that they have is actually using. They plus so much in the end phase, so the biggest problem they have is actually discarding cards. So they plus that much, and they have to discard at the end phase. So what they do is, one of the big problems of the deck is that it's not very defensive. So they, they play traps, they play a lot of traps, and so what they do is they, they go off the judgment combo, they set a lot of traps in the end phase, they get a lot of stuff, and they'll, they'll use the justice, and they'll get another spellbook, they'll get a priestess, and they'll probably discard one card. Um, so in, with that, the trophies doesn't do that much if they don't depend on the, um, the spells that much. I mean, the, the deck has so many... The deck's weaknesses ha are easy to deal with. Mm -hmm. like Thunder King is easy to deal with. The Chorobies is even is surprisingly easy to deal with. I mean, it's not that strong. I mean, if you don't protect... If you don't have back rows, you can just reveal Priestess and try to attack over it. If you have a spell book already, then you can reveal Priestess and try and, um, and uh, use effect to kill it. So, there's nothing... A monster like Thunder King and the Chubbies is not going to stay there. It's not going to lock it forever. All right. All right. Well, thank you for this interview. I'm pretty sure a lot of people back home will like this. Will you 
um, recommend people to go to your website <laughs> and read um, some articles that's there or whatever? We have some decent articles. We, we have some decent we, we don't write articles every single week uh -huh. like ARG does. We write articles when, we've, when we come up with something and we think it's useful. I mean, our, our website is mainly to um, spread awareness of, yeah. the, of the, our group. Our um, player profiles. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there is some content that is helpful to all right. Well, I will link your uh, I will link your website below, and I hope to see you in upcoming events. Texas is next, and there will be two or three events that should be coming up. So Konami says today, and thank you guys. You already know if it's not pro, it got to go. Deuces.